Here's a glimpse of what to expect. Gorgeous turquoise water, limestone cliffs, spectacular viewpoints, fire shows on the beach, boxing, cats, more cats and kayaking at sunset. There's only one way that you can get across to Pipi and that's with a boat, either a speed boat or a ferry. And you can leave from Krabi or Phuket. In today's video, we're heading over there from Phuket. When we get there, we'll show you around and we'll show you what you can do in Pipi. To book a ferry or a speedboat across to Pipi, you have a few options. The first thing you can do is speak to one of the staff in the hotel that you're staying in. They'll either arrange the ticket for you or they'll point you in the right direction to speak to a tour company. Alternatively, we often use a website called one to go Asia where you can find ferries, trains, buses, all around Asia and the link for this website is in the description. We paid 750 baht for a speed boat which left at 9 o'clock in the morning and it took one hour. We also checked when we got to the pier whether the price paying at the pier for the ticket was higher, the same or lower and it was actually higher. The speed boat at the pier was 800 baht and the ferry which takes two hours was 600 baht. So my recommendation would be to use one to go Asia and book the ticket directly yourself. Most ferries or speed boats leave from Ras Sada Pier in Phuket and they arrive at Tonsai Pier in Pipi. There's about 15 different options for you to choose from every day and the first ferry or speed boat leaves at 8.30 in the morning and the last ferry or speedboat usually leaves at about 3 p.m. If you book the ticket through your hotel or through a tour company, there's a possibility that that might include a hotel pickup service with a minivan that will take you to the pier, but that's not guaranteed, so please make sure you check that when you're buying the ticket. The ticket that we bought with One To Go Asia, that didn't include a pickup service, but you can easily grab a taxi from your hotel to the pier and the apps that are available there's Grab which is the most popular there's Bolt and InDriver which are not as popular but they tend to be a cheaper option what we did is drove our motorbike to the pier and we've headed across to Pipi for three days to leave your motorbike at the pier there's a charge of 100 baht a day. So for us, for three days, it cost us 300 baht to leave the motorbike there. Once you arrive in Pipi, when you first get off your speedboat or ferry, you'll need to pay a 20 baht fee, which is a cleaning fee. And then you'll walk around, pick up your luggage, and you'll probably want to check into your hotel. We're a little bit early because it's just after 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go there, drop the bags off, and as soon as we can check in, we'll give you a room tour. But most people book their accommodation in advance, but if you haven't managed to book your accommodation, don't worry because when you arrive at the pier, there's plenty of people with lots of accommodation available showing you the different options that are available to you. Pipi can be divided into four areas with places to stay. In the northeast, Lem Dong, Lord Dalam, Tonsai Village and Long Beach. If this is your first time visiting Pipi, then I'd recommend that you stay in Tonsai Village. There's no cars and there's no motorbikes in Pipi. Everywhere is in walking distance in Tonsai Village. And in this area, you'll find lots of restaurants. There's lots of souvenir shops where you can buy a range of things such as beachwear, beach bags, smartphone waterproof cases, and many more things like that. <laughs> also, if you're in Pipi, the chances are you're going to want to do a boat tour. 
and in this area you'll find many tour companies offering boat tours and you'll leave from Tonsai Bay. If you walk about 10 minutes from Tonsai Village, you'll get to Tonsai Beach. This area is a little bit more secluded and you can do kayaking here, rock climbing, and the water here is beautiful. It's crystal clear blue, it's gorgeous. Only a few minutes walk from Tonsai Village, you'll find Lord Dalham, and here, you'll find white soft sands and with the water, the water's really shallow here, you can walk out quite far and the water will still only reach below your waist. And the beach here is almost surrounded by gorgeous limestone cliffs. Lord Dalham does attract quite a few people but it's got a chilled vibe during the day but this beach completely changes when the sun goes down and this is the party beach. We'll show you a little bit more of the nightlife later in the video. Many families tend to head to Long Beach, which is where we are now. And here on this beach, you'll find the softest white sand in all of Pipi. And the water here is crystal clear, it's gorgeous. But if you do wanna go out in the evening, this area, Long Beach, is quite quiet in the evening, but it's not that far if you want to head to Lord Dalam and you want to party the night away. And then the next day, if you're feeling a little bit tired, then Long Beach is the perfect day to relax, swim and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. For anyone looking for a quieter, more relaxing spot, you should consider heading northeast of Phi Phi to Lem Tong. To get here, you'll need to take a boat. This is a small fisherman's village. Okay, come in and I'll show you around this room. Okay, so this place it's called P2 Wood Loft and it's in Tonsai. Now, this area is perfect because everywhere is within walking distance. This room is really affordable as well. It's about 22 meters squared and the price for one night was 1,250 baht, which is really fantastic. So we'll start by having a look in this bathroom. Um, so the bathroom is a decent size and you've got a shower in here, um, pretty standard. Um, but the tiles, it's nice, it's, it's fresh and it's clean. Um, yeah, it, it looks modern and stylish. Um, then there's a work desk over here. So for anyone who's planning on doing any work while they're in PB, that's not me. There's a walk and street just outside this hotel, but we're at the opposite side of the building. And it's early afternoon now, it's about one o'clock and it's really, really quiet. And I think where the nightlife is, it's not that far from here. It's probably a five to 10 minute walk to Lord Dalham. So this is a good enough area if you wanna go out in the evening and have a dance or have a party. But if you want an early night or you don't wanna be disturbed by the music, then this is a really good spot. And then there's a nice amount of space over here. Um, so there's a chair here, quite spacious. And there's a full length mirror here as well in this wardrobe. And then there's just a bit of space here to hang up your clothes. And there's also a mini safe. And around here, there's a little basket with some grey beach towels and two bath towels and two hand towels. So yeah, I think for the price, 1,250, I think this is a good deal. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. One of the highlights that you shouldn't miss when you're in Pipi is the viewpoint. You can make your way up there by climbing these steep steps. It does take a bit of effort and of course it's hot, but I promise you it's worth it. We've made it up to the viewpoint. It took about 20 minutes to get up here and on the way up there was a fee of 30 baht. 
Before we show you this scenery behind us, I've got three tips to share with you. The first tip, make sure you bring some water with you. Number two, make sure you've got bug spray so you don't get bitten. And number three, bring a towel so you can mop your brow so you don't look sweaty like me. There are three viewpoints for you to see. Unfortunately, we only saw viewpoint one and two as we weren't aware of viewpoint three until afterwards. If you're looking for a party, then you'll definitely find that in PP. On Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, there's a pool party at Ibiza House from 1pm until 9pm. You can have a game of beer pong, have a dance or a swim. A boat trip while you're in Pipi is definitely a must-do activity. There's a range of options for you to choose from. You can join a tour group on either a long tail boat or speed boat and go out exploring for between three hours and seven and a half hours. Alternatively, you can hire a private driver. The prices vary and start from around 500 Thai baht per person and that can go up to about 2,500 or 3,000 for a private boat. As soon as you're in Tonsai Village, you'll find many tour companies selling a variety of trips. Take a bit of time to look around and see what's on offer. Most trips include a few snorkeling stops where you'll get the chance to jump off the boat into the sea. You can spend about 40 minutes snorkeling and you'll get to see many fish. You can also visit a bay or a beach where you get to see a lot of monkeys. Some of the longer trips do include lunch, but the shorter trips usually include water and fruit. When in PP, there's a fee of 200 Thai baht to enter a national park. Some of the tour companies include this in their price while other companies don't. If they don't, you'll need to pay this 200 baht to your boat driver. A great thing to do from Low Dallam Beach is grab a kayak at sunset. It's about 5.30 now and it looks like there's going to be a gorgeous sunset. So we're getting this kayak for two hours for two people, which is 300 baht and we can head out on Lord Dallam Bay, turn left, and we're gonna go around to Monkey Beach. And this is Monkey Beach. It took about 20 minutes to get around here from Lord Dallam Beach. But even though it's called Monkey Beach, there aren't any monkeys here that I can see. Actually, there is, there's one. Jerry's the only monkey here because on the 20 minutes around, he did hardly any of the rowing. He just sat there and relaxed, but He'll be doing the rowing on the way back. As you may already know, Boxing, known as Muay Thai, is Thailand's national sport. If you head to Reggae Bar about 9 o'clock to 9.30, you can watch a few friendly fights between customers. There's no entry fee, but you must buy a drink to enter. Once it starts to fill up with customers, the staff will be on the lookout for people to volunteer to fight. In return for volunteering, you'll get a free bucket of alcohol. We absolutely loved our time in PP and we'll definitely go back in the future. There's something there for everyone. 
After Peepee, you'll most likely be heading on with your trip. Most hotels will be selling boat tickets. We got our ferry tickets back to Phuket for only 400 Thai baht, and this took two hours. This was actually cheaper than buying the ticket from the pier. Drop us a message in the comments if you have any questions, and if you are going to Peepee, have fun.